Hey guys, what's up, Siphlin, and welcome to episode 5 of Warframe's Beginner Guide. And today we're going to be actually killing Captain Vor. I know, like, we're finally finishing the first quest, oh my god. But before I do that, uh, maybe if you've been playing Apollodorus a lot, you've actually got your weapons to level 30. Unlike me, I haven't really been playing Apollodorus too much. I've just been, uh, derping around on my main account, but, you know, whatever. We're almost level 30, and they should be level 30 pretty soon. But, uh, if your weapons already are level 30, you should be able to progress in the Master Rank 2. I haven't got a Master Rank 2 video up, but anytime you can progress into a Master Rank, uh, go ahead and do it, because, you know, it's only going to benefit you, there's no downside to it. Well, unless you fail it, then you have to wait a day, but, you know, you shouldn't really be failing it. But if you do feel like you're going to fail it, just wait until I post a video on that Master Rank, and don't worry, it will come, so... Um, yeah, so if your weapons are level 30, the MK1 Kunai and the MK1 Bow specifically, if they are both level 30, you're going to go and head up to the market, and you're going to go to the weapons tab and go secondary blueprints, and if you're master rank 2, you can buy the Kunai blueprint, and then if you're master rank, I think 1 should be enough, you can buy the Bow blueprint, and basically what these are, they're better versions of the Kunai and the Bow. Um, what that's going to allow you to do is make a weapon called the Tipido, I'll just show you it. It's one of the best melee weapons in the game at the minute because it's got really high, uh, here it is. It's got really high critical chance. And basically what it does is it takes the bow and the kunai to mech. And 1600 polymer bundle and two neural sensors, but I'll show you how to get all that stuff. I have to be master rank 3. So once you hit master rank 3, which you should do from buying the uh, normal kunai and the bow, then you'll be able to use the tip and it's a real, really good weapon. Uh, we'll get you through the game like really fast. But before you make the tip if you're rushing ahead of me, do not use the normal bow and kunai straight out, okay? And why that is, is because each weapon comes with mastery rank, so you get it to level 30. Once it's level 30, you've mastered that weapon. So you see there's a little blue bar in below my MK1 kunai, my MK1 Bullet and my MK1 Bratton. These are Mark 1 weapons, and they are separate to the normal weapons. So they got the MK1 Bull and the normal Bull. You see the way that there's not a little blue bar under the Bull? That's because there's two completely different weapons. Same with the Kunai. There is the MK1 Kunai, which is up here, and the nor normal Kunai, which is here. And same with the Bratton, I think. There's a, I think there's a normal Bratton as well, but it's not too important because the Bratton sucks anyway. But... Um, yeah, just get every weapon you obtain, get it to level 30 before you discard it, okay? Because that's just going to get you master rank points, and you're never going to have to look at that weapon again if you didn't like the weapon, so... That's just something to keep in mind, but uh, let's go ahead and kill Vor, because that's what we're waiting for. And if you have the mods that uh, I've been mentioning in the last video, so... You have, you know, your Suresion, put that there on, I'm just going to throw it on this fast hands, because why not? Uh, your kunai, heat it charge, I already have that on. Uh, put hornet strike on, I don't think you guys have that yet. Um, fury, north wind, smite grenade, yep, okay. Yep, just put pressure point and fury on your bow and then that should be fine. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and kill Vor, so let's go ahead. Mercury, Are you ready, four, you ready, Tenno? Facing four is the only way to rid yourself off, him his, off him permanently. Yeah, whatever. You can just come back and replay this mission if you want to see him again. Not a big deal. Hashtag replayability in a free to play game. You know? I hate loading screens. Loading screens just. I hate them. So you can go ahead and skip this cutscene if you know how. Okay, and we're just gonna like, hook it to the Vor. That's, that's all we're gonna do. We don't even care about any other enemy. We're just gonna. Kill Vor. That's why I said we don't care about enemies, then I start shooting enemies. Whatever. Well, it was a very easy boss fight. Very, very easy. He's not, um. He's not like any old single player or normal, like, first game boss. Like, usually the first game box bosses are like, okay, you shoot this part of the enemy, and then. He's going to open up another part, you shoot that part, and then he's going to open up another part, and then he's going to be dead. Four teleports around, he has phases, and all that good stuff, so he's, he's not like any regular first boss fight, he's, he's kind of unique in a way. And he does play a big role in the game later on, I mean spoilers, but you know, 
It's not the last time that you're going to be seeing him, really. But, uh, yeah, he teleports for Ryan, he shoots lasers, he has a shield. The shield's probably the most annoying part. But well, he's only level 8 at the minute for me, so... Those slash pops are something that you're going to want to look out for. Make sure you get him in the head as well. He's going to be a little bit bonus damage. You can kill his uh, little henchmen just by shooting them or meleeing them. It doesn't really matter. They're really easy, to be quite honest. Shoot him in the head. Don't really go in the melee range, dude, because this whole electricity thing's just going to screw you over, in my opinion. Almost got him. Right, if you really need you, you can stun him with Radio Blind, I think. Let's test that out. Yeah, you can. Okay. <laughs> That's cool, he's not hitting me. He's just kind of derping out. Alright, he's dead. Asker's detonator has just disintegrated. Okay. Yeah, he gets cut in half, even though you didn't like melee him or with a sword or anything, so... Yeah. He just kind of plops in half, and now he's dead. Rest in peace, Vor. So yeah, that's the Vor boss fight. There's, uh, there's two weapons you can actually get from this. There's one called the Seer and one called the Cronus. It's all to do with RNG again, you guys should have a good understanding of what RNG is, probably a random number generator. Random reward that you'll get at the end of the mission. Or whenever you complete an objective. So in a boss fight case, it's at the end of the mission, so... You'll get parts for the Seer, or you'll get the Cronus blueprint. You might even get the Seer blueprint, I think you can get the Seer receiver and barrel. And the Seer Blueprint, and you can get the Cronus Blueprint, and that's all you need for it. Something like that. But uh, the Seer's a little bit harder to build than the Cronus, so... You get the Cronus that will act as a melee weapon, but, you know, you're going to be getting the Tipido anyway. You can use the Cronus in the meantime while your uh, Tipido's building, but... You know, let's find out what we get. We didn't get anything that wrong. Okay. We got Fusion Cores, though, which is nice. And we got Rifle prof Proficiency, so... MK1 Brown's now level 30. I was rather short. Only 7 minutes in. Well, 7 and a half, maybe. I don't know. I could explain, uh. Nah, I'm not gonna explain that yet. I'll explain it whenever we get all the resources, but. You're gonna have unlocked the planet called Venus now, and what you're gonna wanna do is just go free and play some of those missions. So you're you gonna have this. Proceed to the you have to console. install. Kind of just set it there, and then there you go. You now have Venus. And the Vor's prize quest should pop up as complete now. Here we go. We have Venus, so you can go exterminate and uh, see. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Uh, you're not gonna get it that way. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Four missions until you get to the boss fight here. So, external excavation, you get those nice rescue, sabotage, and defense. And this is going to be against the corpus enemies, but before we do that, we're going to have to get elemental mods, which I think. I don't know, I might do it in the next video. What did I really explain? I don't know. Uh, we, you know. Okay, so here we go. This is something I'm going to want to explain now, because whenever you get enough materials, you're also going to want to build this. Uh, you see the requirements for building the bow. It's 1 Oricon Cell, 900 Salvage, 600 Ferrite, and 150 Alloy Plate. There is a credit cost on top of that, and there's also a time. So it'll take 12 hours to actually build the bow. So once you press X and you have all the opponent, uh, components and you've traded them in to build the bow, it's going to take 12 hours before the bow is actually built, so that's uh, that's what makes this game free to play, you can't just go in and get every weapon and play it straight away, you have to wait a day, but usually what I do is I build this as soon as I can and then I get it the next day, so there's always things to do in this game, always something that's going to keep you busy so that's just how it's done but I suppose we could uh, take a look at the corpus yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the corpus, because there's really nothing else I can cover in this video. So we're going to go ahead and just play the first mission to Venus and see how it compares to missions on Mercury and Earth. 
uh, and I'll show you what the changes are really. But you're going to be fighting against a faction called the Corpus. Now they have shields and they don't have armor, so impact damage is going to do good against them. They are, uh, I, w I don't know what you would call the hardest faction in the game though. I like to say, ah uh, no, I won't, I won't spoil anything. I won't spoil anything. So you're just going to want to play through these missions. You see how they're dropping like so much faster because they don't have armor. It's just taking them the shield really. There's a different uh, hacking thing here. You just have to like join them all together and you're also going to get different resource drops from here as well. It's a different planet you know. Oh yeah 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 okay. This is why yeah okay. It's good that we've played this because there's going to be these like really annoying lasers that are going to screw you over. So, see these cameras? You're going to want to just, yep, there you go. There's the lasers right there. You're going to want to destroy like every camera because they're going to screw you over a lot. Let's look at this guy. He's murdering me. The turrets that also come in. These, this is an oxygen drone that takes a little more of the kill, but it drops a material called oxygen in return, so I just got 12 of it there. So let's try every camera and then it'll stop those stupid annoying lasers from popping up. Also, just want to make use of your abilities a lot more against these guys because it's good because they're tight corridors and things like that. So the sooner you get that streamline maxed up to 30%, the better. I haven't even got it maxed up yet. But yeah. Let's kill these guys. Moa, moa, moa. Ah, uh, we actually destroyed the window, so the window's gonna drain all your health, so you have to hack this console to fix it and then it closes over. These turrets were really annoying. So things get a lot more hectic in here than what they did in the Grenier maps. You also get different mods because you know they're different enemies. Thirty-five circuits again, a different material. That's where we gotta go. There he is. Okay, I'm, I'm blind. But next episode is basically going to be getting your elemental damage. You do more damage against a certain type of faction based on the elemental combos that you'll have on. So I'm going to be showing you how to get all those. There's a mod right there as we speak. If we're lucky, there'll be one. Nah, it's Reach. Reach isn't... Uh, well, I'm not going to say it's a bad mod, but it's just not a mod that you should be using. I can use it on big weapons, like, it's for melee, so it basically increases your melee range. You can use it on big swords, like the Galatine things, which is another good sword to have. Just because it's big and it does a lot of slash damage. I think I should be using the kunai because then I can get at level 30. i say next video is going to be how they get the elemental mods, but then again I could make it the Mastery Rank 2 challenge. Pretty sure the Mastery Rank 2 challenge is just using your uh, secondary weapon to kill the enemies. Same as the Master Rank 1, except you're using your secondary. And again, always make sure to make use of your abilities because you're going to get more XP towards your Warframe. 
Ah, uh, that just makes it easier for you. So you might think that Excalibur's casting time is a little bit slow. Well, it is slow, and I'm going to show you guys a way to fix that. So, stay tuned. It's not going to be in this video though. It might be in a video like way later on. But uh, it'll happen eventually, so. You know? Boom. And that's the mission complete, so we just get to the end. There we go, check out Reach. Uh, not a lot. So you, you kind of stop getting good rewards near the end, so. Just because, you know, you're not a beginner anymore, per se, because you've already completed the prologue. So, yeah. Probably just progressing through the star chart is going to be your hardest task, really. But it's worth it. You've done it, Tenno. Done it, Tenno. Four is the scar. Yeah, for scar. some reason my game is weird, and I have to play a mission Tenno after I actually complete begun. the quest the before I get the dialogue. So we're going to get a Forest Prize quest complete now. Vora was just a part of the Grenier machine, and we have seen that the Corpus have begun amassing weapons of their own. It is a dangerous time. So, any moment now, there we go. I get a new quest after that, but uh, you can do it if you want. I just don't know if it's worth it or not. So... So now you're kind of at your own free will and you can do whatever the hell you want. So uh, yeah, that's going to be it for episode 5. If you liked this video, please don't forget to hit that like button. You want to see more content from me, hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.